Welcome to Dorcas Fashion Academy. Today I will be teaching you how to make a scrub hat. With the situation in the world today, we are helping the community in this way. Let's get started. First of all, you have to print out your three paper patterns. Cut them out and join two of them where it says the letter A. You should place the long piece on two pieces of fabric on a fold. I have chosen a blue and a checked, so it's a long strip on a fold and the top round bit would be two pieces of fabric only, not on a fold. You should cut at the edge of the paper because this pattern already includes 8 millimeters of seam allowance. Don't forget to not cut through the fold in the long piece. This would be the center. So now we have two pieces, one short one and two long ones which have been cut on the fold. You have a dart and a sew from point and a center point. You have to do your notches. You do a little notch on either side of the dart, a little notch in the center of the curved side. This would be the center that would join to our other piece and the sew point. This is very important because this is where we're going to start sewing. Here in the top, we also have a notch in the center point. The center will join and the sew points will join at the bottom. Making sure that all your notches are in the correct place, remove the pattern piece from your fabric. Open up your fabric gently, placing the two fabrics one on top of the other. Finding your notches, take one of the fabrics and position one notch on top of the other. Place a pin and fold perpendicular to the edge. This is where your dart is going to be. Taking a ruler or a tape measure, measure five and a half centimeters down and place a pin at the end of the dart. Continue preparing the rest of your darts in the same manner. Now you're ready to sew. Sew from the raw edges inwards, from the notch down, doing a reverse at the beginning. Sew at an angle and trying to aim for the edge of the folded fabric and the last pin. Do this slowly so that your stitch is right on the fold at the end of the dot. Continue to do this in all of your dots. Once that is done, taking your sew point notch and pin all the way around from the notch towards the side up across and 
down all the straight side of the hat. Finishing where the other sew point notch is. So all the way around from notch to notch, leaving the rounded bit open. Now you have sewn, you will see here that we have folded one dart one way and the other one the other way, so that the thickness is not doubled. Before you turn the hat the right way round, cut the corners of the end ties. Turn the hat piece the right way round and gently push the end ties out. You can do it with a pair of scissors, but make sure that you don't make a hole in the corners. Now take the rounded top piece and remove your pattern. You are going to take the two fabrics and sew across the straight edge at one centimeter seam allowance and then we're going to turn it right sides out. Once you have sewn, you need to press. Press the seam allowance of the round straight bit to one side and then turn over towards the right side of the fabric. Press close to the edge. For the long piece, press the seam allowances to one side from the inside of the hat. Then turn it towards the right side and press along the edge, accentuating on the dots. Press the end ties, bringing out the little bit after the sew point, after the notch, and press flat all the way around. Once pressed, make sure that your two center notches align. It is very easy to shift this notch when pressing. Place a pin on the notches on either side, making sure the little bit of fabric points outwards. Taking the round piece, place a pin in the center of your notch, making sure that your two fabrics are together. Take the long piece and find the center, which should also have a pin. Align both notches and both pins and pin the four fabrics together. Now position the sew point notch with the extra fabric 
at the bottom of what you sewed before on the round bit. Make sure they both align. Position the raw edges with the raw edges, pinning all the way around. Try to match up the edges of the fabric and align carefully so that you don't have any pleats or puckers. Once pinned, you are ready to sew all the way around at about a centimeter distance from the edge. Sew carefully, trying to avoid any pinches or pleats that may want to occur because of the excess fabric you have on top. You can control this by sewing a few centimeters at a time and making sure that you're not sewing through pinches and pleats. Make sure that you reverse at the beginning and at the end. This will be a pressure point once these two ties are made into a knot. So now your scrub hat is sewn. Check your work to see there's no puckering. Then trim your seams and do a zigzag all the way around. If you have an overlocker, you can serge the edge too. But if you don't, a zigzag is fine. Check your work to see if the zigzag is nice and neat. Trim off all the threads of that have stayed behind and now your scrub hat is now ready for pressing. It is all finished and I'm sure that someone will appreciate your efforts. Thank you for helping out the community. If you wish to have this pattern for free, please click on the link below. Thank you very much from Dorcas Fashion Academy. Bye bye.